You've tried custom intent audiences. You've also tried custom affinity audiences. But maybe you're looking for new ways to expand upon your reach within your display campaigns. You also may be hesitant to use some of the really broad targeting that we see defaulted within the campaign setup for some of our awareness campaigns. This is where the audience insights tool within the audience manager can come in really handy. In this video, I'm going to show you different combinations you can test and how you can find out which audience combinations are going to work best for you, for you to use within your display and awareness campaigns. Once you are logged into your Google ads account, head to the top navigation and click on tools and settings. Then under the shared library, click on audience manager. On the left hand side, we then want to go down and click on audience insights. This will pull up the audience insights tool. Now the main purpose of this tool is to break down a chosen audience to get more information on what other audiences make up the core audience we're looking at. Let me explain. The audience insight tool is going to look at all visitors that came from your Google ads account. And we're also going to default to the country that you are in. By this default audience, we're going to get deeper information of which demographics, locations, and devices make up this core audience. If we scroll down a little bit, this is the information I need if I want to look for new audiences to test in my awareness campaigns. Within the Audience Insights tool, we are going to get the top 10 in-market audiences, as well as the top 10 affinity audiences that make up the core audience that we originally have selected. Now, while the Audience Insights tool defaults to an all visitors audience, you have the option to select a variety of different audiences that you already have created within the Google Ads platform. And here I'm looking at customer lists right now. I can then scroll up and maybe I want to check out website visitors. And if I choose a different audience, let's just say all converters for the past 90 days, we're going to see the information is going to refresh and the in-market audiences and affinity audiences that make up our main core audience will change depending on which audience I have selected to view the data. I have to mention that if you do want to change the core audience to view different in-market and affinity audiences, your core audience must have at least a thousand users to be eligible to be used within the audience insights tool. That's why earlier we saw some of those options grayed out. But if you do have enough users within that audience, select those and see which in-market and affinity audiences you can look at. Before I select which in-market or affinity audiences I want to test in my awareness campaigns, let me show you how I like to review some of my core audiences and the value that they could provide for me in my new campaigns. In this first review, I selected an audience of all converters from the past 180 days. Now we see a default list of 10 within the audience insights tool, but I want to focus on these five right here. And that's important. Let me show you why, because later on, when I reviewed a few different audiences, this one being current customers who logged in, I also saw the exact same five audiences we saw on the converters from the past 180 days. So both core audiences are users who have converted at some point on my site or their current customers. And we see the pattern of these same five audiences are showing up for both of my core audiences. Now, if I want to get in front of new users who are just like my converters or my core customers, I'm more comfortable testing out these five in market audiences first, because I see a pattern between two people I consider my core audience that I want to expand upon. And now I want to head back into Google ads and start utilizing these audiences within my campaigns. After we've reviewed a few core audiences within the audience insights tool, and we see certain patterns of common in market and affinity audiences between the few core audiences, we will be able to go back into our main campaign creation within Google ads and start adding these audiences ourselves. And as you can see, the same in market and affinity audiences we saw in the audience insights tool are the exact targeting options that we can utilize within our awareness campaigns. So if you're looking for new ways to expand your reach and get in front of the right target audience, potentially more customers who are just like your current converters, really take the time to dive into the audience insights tool, find the perfect combinations and start expanding your reach to the right audience. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the paid media pros channel to see more videos. 